So if democracy is a horrible form of government, but the best that we have, I suppose we could say the same thing for data democratization at times. Actually, really, it's not that bad. But we need to strike a balance between uh, assuring the pedigree of the data, making sure it's authoritative, making sure that the access controls are correctly enforced on the one hand. And on the other hand, we really need to keep usability up. If we're going to talk about data-driven organizations and make sure that's more than just talk, but something real where everybody feels not just empowered to analyze data and to follow what the data tells them, but actually enthusiastic and, and motivated and inspired to do that, then we have to keep the usability as, as high as possible. So in order to get this done, it's gonna be super important that we have audit controls and the ability to look at lineage of the data because it can go through so many steps before it's actually analyzed and visualized. We need to have the confidence in the system that if we wanted to look back at the visualized data and trace it all the way back to its source, that we could. We're not gonna do that every time, clearly. That's just not feasible. But we need to have the confidence that we can because that is going to establish a certain deterrent, if you will, uh, from people or from processes bringing in data that won't meet that standard. As long as we have that confidence and as long as we have the ability to do the lineage and a process and uh, standards and conventions set up for auditing that data at regular intervals, then we'll probably hit the right balance.